Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari, a recording for the Daily Reminder Network. Today, when we look around, we see that most of us are in various problems, calamities, worries, and trials. And all of us, we are all looking for solutions. The solution that I have to offer to you all today is in the form of a very great sunnah. And that is the Sunnah of Adkaru Sabahi Wal Masa. The Sunnah of remembering our Maker morning and evening. As He Azza wa Jal states in the Noble Quran Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu dhkurullaha dhikran kathiran wa sabbihuhu bukratan wa asila. Allahu Akbar. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu. O oh, you who believe. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, whenever our maker addresses us in the noble Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, O oh, you who believe, then it is upon us to sit upright and listen to the words very attentively because all of us, we consider ourselves Ahlul Iman. We consider ourselves as believers. So it is upon us to listen attentively. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, O you who believe, udhkuru allaha dhikran kathira. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala excessively. Wasabbihuhu bukratan wa asila. And exalt him morning and evening. A believer's daily life is supposed to revolve around the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the time an individual wakes up in the morning until he or she goes to sleep at night. But in this video, we'll be focusing on a more specific type of adhkar, adhkar which is the plural of dhikr, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a more specific type that offers an aura of protection or a fortress of protection, if you will, from all types and forces of evil on a daily basis by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in the next few minutes, just to keep the video short, we will be touching on a few important adhkar with their virtues. Dhikr number one that we will be touching on is Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa huwa alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arsh al -azim. Let me repeat Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa huwa alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arsh al -azim. According to a report which is recorded in uh, Abu Dawood Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said along the lines of these words for the individual who recites the mentioned dhikr seven times in the morning and seven times in the evening, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will suffice for him in regard to his worries in this world as well as the hereafter. In other words, Allah azza wa jal will remove all of his worries in this world as well as the hereafter. The second dhikr is, let me repeat it again. Now in regard to this, if an individual were to read it thrice in the morning and thrice in the evening, according to the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, once again recorded in Abu Dawood, no harm will ever affect this individual. No evil will ever affect this individual. The third dhikr is رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِمُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ نَبِيًّا Let me repeat. رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِمُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ نَبِيًّا the individual who reads this thrice in the morning and thrice in the evening according to the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which has been recorded in Ahmad and if I'm not mistaken the book of Imam al-Nasai too Allah azza wa jal will take it upon himself to please this individual who reads this dhikr thrice in the morning and thrice in the evening on the day of Qiyamah Allahu Akbar the next dhikr is an amazing dhikr because the rewards are just amazing the dhikr is 
لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير. The individual who reads this a hundred times in a single day, according to the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he will be rewarded the reward of emancipating or freeing ten slaves. He will also be rewarded a hundred rewards and also hundred sins will be erased and deleted from his account. Last but not least, he will also be given a protection from all types of evil such as the devils and the jinn for that complete day. Allahu Akbar. The next dhikr is Sayyidul Istighfar, the leader of the du'as of Istighfar, seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, i.e. the best du'a to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma anta rabbi la ilaha illa ant, khalaqtani wa ana abduk. وأنا على عهدك ووعدك ما استطعت أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت أبوء لك بنعمتك علي وأبوء بذنبي فاغفر لي فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت. According to the words of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم, the individual who reads this in the evening, if he were to pass away that night, if he were to die that night, he would enter Jannah. Allahu Akbar. And the individual who reads it in the morning, if he were to pass away, if he were to die during the day, he will enter Jannah. The final dhikr that I hope to touch in this video is a very important dhikr and that is Ayatul Kursi, the greatest verse in the Noble Quran. According to the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the individual who reads it in the morning, who reads Ayatul Kursi in the morning, he will be offered a protection from all types of evil jinn and devil, uh, devils, all of the devils and the jinnat. And the individual who reads it in the evening, he will be given protection throughout the night from all types of devils and jinnat. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let us revive this amazing sunnah of our beloved master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and obtain the, the protection that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is offering to us. And please do not forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire a sunnah revival. Jazakumullah khair wa akhir da'wai and alhamdulillahi rabbil alayhi.